What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got this nice lovely wheelbarrow here. Check this thing out. This is the bucket right here. It's the Yard Rover Wheelbarrow. So there it is. We got the Yard Rover Wheelbarrow. We got a little guy here who's going to help us assemble this. Hey, Teddy. How's it going, buddy? Teddy, you going to help us assemble this thing? Huh? You going to put this thing together for us? You're going to put it together? All right. We got the clan here that's going to help us assemble this Yard Rover. So here we do. We have this Yard Rover wheelbarrow it is a rust free durable poly tray it's got two wheels on it it's ergonomically designed easy to dump easy to maneuver easy to push so let's get to it all right first thing up here's the uh the little installation guide right here this is the assembly instructions so we're just going to go through this right here um piece by piece and just try to get this thing put together in the uh simplest easiest way possible all right here we go Okay, so first up, we need to get this uh, section here that's gonna hold the axle. So that's this, uh, this guy right here. Go ahead and pull this off. And then we've got the axle right here. Pull that out, slide that apart. And we'll put this into place right here. There we have our axle in place. Next up we've got the wheel. Then we're gonna put in a washer and then a cotter pin. Two big washers. Those are the two big washers, cotter pins. So we're gonna be using these up top here. All right, so we're gonna add this washer. We're gonna go ahead and add this cotter pin in here. Okay, and we'll do the same thing to the other side. Make sure you're facing your uh, valve stem on the outside. So you can put your air in there. All right, so that takes care of that section. All right, next up, we're gonna work on the leg frame here. So all we do is we insert these here onto the ends. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our short bolt and our lock nut. So we're gonna take the bolt, put it in from the outside in. All right, next up is to put on the leg brace. So this goes right back here with another short bolt. So we place the handle onto the legs. We're gonna use the long bolt, but it says to add that in step nine. So let's go ahead and get those, let's go ahead and get those handles in place. All right, so with this bucket in place, we're gonna go ahead and put the last two short bolts in here. Get that aligned properly. And be sure to put your rubber gaskets in uh, before you put that bolt down in there. So rubber gaskets are in place. Okay, with those in place, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab our shims. Go 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab our last two long bolts here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these right in place. Then make sure you add your rubber gaskets once again to these bolts. And then you're gonna insert these through the hole, through the shim. Okay, once you make sure that everything is feeling kind of good, uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, grab some tools. We got the Allen key here. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, go ahead and grab a socket and we're gonna get everything snug. So this little bolt is a 13. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything nice and tight. All right, so there you have it. Fully assembled and ready to go. All right, there it is, folks. Not too bad, easy maneuvering, easy to dump, easy to run, easy to roll. Looks good to me. I will definitely leave a link in the description for this little wheelbarrow. It's nice that you can break it down, kind of set it up, move it, do whatever you gotta do with it. But overall, it looks like a pretty good product. I am impressed with it so far. I think it's gonna do a great job around in the yard. It's your boy BT. Thank you for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.